on build is probably day four or so here. It is looking good. Got some plant shelves cut in. Waterfall is going to be coming in down here. We got a footer for some uh, floating steps we're going to be putting across the shallow end here. Um, we got our intake bay cut in. And that's what's happening. There we go. Uh, we're putting some floating uh, stone steps across the shallow end of the pond here. Uh, and I just want to show you uh, how we're going to prep for that under the liner. Anyways, what we have here is a footer for um, some floating steps here. They're going to be coming across the shallow end of the pond here from this side to that side. So under the liner, we poured a 12 inch footer of uh, steel reinforced concrete um, to support underneath the liner so we don't have any settlement here. And then we put some of this interlocking um, rubber padding uh, on top of it so that you don't have a pinch point between the concrete that's going to go on top of this and the concrete underneath. So what we'll do is flip that liner back over and pour a slab on top of the liner um, that'll be supported by this underneath slab and then uh, put some sauna tubes up here and mount the steps so we can walk across here and it'll be super solid. All right, so now uh, after we got that padding in, I put it on, we're going to lay a, a double layer of this geotextile fabric down just for extra protection and stabilization there. And now we're going to pull that liner back in and pour the footer on top of the liner. Should be fun. All right. What's happening everybody, it's Jacob, Living Waters, working on this koi pond here. We've got our uh, footer board and our forms set for the uh, floating steps here. So this is all set right in front of the intake bay here. It'll be a little kind of a shallower section. Um, those will be four inches above water level with uh, you know capstone, stepping stone on there that we're gonna anchor in there with uh, some all thread and some corner brackets. Um, so yeah, you have about four inches of water going underneath that to get everything to flow smoothly into the intake bay. And we're probably gonna mount some lights under here, which would be really cool shining down into the water. So at night, you can cruise across. A little staggered step there, should be fun. Let's see how it goes. Ready to let this set up. I put some brackets, some L brackets in here and some anchor bolts um, so we can uh, just help support some of these. We have some two foot by two foot stones on here. These are only 12 inch piers. I don't know if we'll need them, but I don't necessarily always like trusting just the mortar. Um, so then this way I can anchor some bolts up into the bottom of the stone and epoxy this into the middle just for extra structures. I don't want anybody falling into the pond. But it's looking nice. All right.
got these dry set in here on our pillars. Looking pretty good. We got some bolts and brackets in there that we're gonna anchor these guys to underneath. So we drilled out the J bolts that we have in there. Um, and we'll epoxy those in as we're mortaring. And then we have some L brackets that we're gonna tap con just in case. That should be pretty fun. Water level is about four inches underneath that. So we'll have a smooth flow of water into the intake bay. All right, folks, we are all set in. The loading steps are mortared and mounted. Came out great. Now we just let them dry. That'll be pretty fun. Next, we're on to finishing the pond and up to the waterfall. This was kind of a pain. It started to rain right in the middle of setting the first one, so that was rough, but they are set. Looking good. 